Heidi. Hi, I'm Nell. We run to our diet consultants and this week we are going to talk about something that a lot of you are asking us about. That is the fact that it's blinking freezing and how to go past your own plan. <laughs> I also, I don't know if you can tell because I'm hiding it so well, have a stinking cold. So we will also talk about having a stinking cold on plan because it often goes hand in hand with being cold. So cold and colds, that's what yes. we're going to talk about today. Exactly, because quite often, if you're on a very low calorie diet, you do feel the cold a bit more. And also, if you are partway through your journey, you've lost a considerable amount of weight. You've also lost a considerable amount of your insulation that you <laughs> naturally had built. Yes, um, so... and we're not going to put that back on just to feel a no. little bit more. Um, but it's it's something that quite often people take a little bit personally because they think it's just them, and they yeah. don't they can't quite correlate that they it's a side effect of being on plan, um, uh, and not just that it is cold. So yeah. I get a lot of messages from people saying, "But why am I feeling particularly cold?" So it's just worth understanding what's happening sort of physiologically there, um, so that you know that it's not just you, and that you're perfectly it's it's a good idea to try and mitigate it, to take the steps that we're going to suggest this morning and not just, you know, um, put jeopardize being on plan because if it's too much to bear, then you'll just, you know, you'll, you'll go off course. So we don't want that, but also to know what's normal and to know what it, it sort of just helps to take it, you know, as a, if you can put it in the box of, oh, it's a side effect, yeah. not, it's just a me thing. And I think with all dieting, if you're familiar with Heidi and I video, Heidi, our videos, it's a lot of what we try and break down is so that you don't feel alone and you don't feel isolated and it's it, you don't take it so personally. It's not yes. a, oh, it doesn't go into the box of, oh, it's a thing everybody else has got figured out or it's not happening to anybody else. This is just a me thing. It's not just a you thing. So come in for a nice warm cuddle and we will We'll do our best to warm you up with our words um, so that you feel altogether more, more, more prepared for what's going to happen on plan. Yes. So, you, yes. First one, hot drinks, hot drinks, yes. hot drinks. Yeah. Um, really good advice, but just watch the milk. Quite I thought often said that plan, was going to be my next thing. Was it, I took the word literally out of your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we get so sort of, um, I'm just going to have hot drinks and we distract ourselves and we forget that we're not drinking our plain water as well that we need on plan and also we can overdo the milk so be very careful if you're on the vlcd if you're on step one or step two and you're trying to stay in that kind of you know low carb space just be careful because you're doing so much hard work by removing so much from your diet in order to achieve this really quick reliable weight loss but then you're pouring back all these free sugars in the form of milk um and you know you can you can drink a lot of sneaky calories in a couple of lattes yeah. They soon add up. And I think sometimes when you're on those higher steps, you're like, oh, I can have milk in my tea and coffee. And you don't measure it and you don't note it down. I also um, think we just don't think it counts if we drink it. No. And then it, you get to weigh day and you're like, I don't understand why the scale hasn't moved more. Because yeah, you're not, we're not thinking about those. We're not running for it. It's not like you're going to put no. weight on necessarily. But what we don't want you to do is to invest in your process financially with your time, with your energy, with your effort, and then just be doing enough to just stay the same. It, we yeah. would, it, would be really, it would be really disingenuous of us if we know that that's a thing that's very common on plan to not give you the heads up because we want this to work we want the same thing as you do we want to give yeah. you that edge so that this is not just effective and safe and reliable but it's quick especially at this time of year it's what you came here for so you know be careful you've got to convince yourself with the milk that you like all the black teas all the all the weird infusions the, the jasmine fruit teas the herbal yeah, teas yeah. the black yeah. coffee the whole shebang that all counts as well towards your water total your 2.25 liters so that can really help but also do not forget the water flavorings, you can make them hot. The amount of times I say to my slimmers, have you made the water flavorings hot yet? When they say they're golden, they're like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. And I'm like, yes, especially no, the raspberry and elderflower. Tips and tricks just don't really occur to us yeah. because we're not, when, when that's, yeah, it's quite literally our job. But yes. I don't mean to harp on about it. Did I mention that I've got a head cold? Um, Make your own lem sips because sometimes yes. when you have 
cold, we're using a lot of those. They are boiled sweets. So if you're using all the strepsils, you're feeling a bit coldly as well as a bit cold. Um, the hot drinks are brilliant. So make them up a bit like a cough mixture, because, again, a lot of those um, over the counter medicines are crock full of sugar, which, again, if you're going for that really low carb, low refined carb sugar space, you're not going to you're not going to get the biggest bang for your buck on the on plan um, if you're accidentally eating lots of strepsils because they are just sugar sweets um and the same with lemsip they've got lots of you know sugar and, and same with sugars. honey drinks you just pepper that's yourself why you up feel a lot better they put a lot of caffeine and sugar in them <laughs> yeah yeah pretty much but you can sort of do a cough mixture with a yeah. you know like a slightly stronger um water flavoring so you get that nice sort of like a that, that, like squash isn't it you know so you yeah. get that nice coating on your throat and it soothes your and the warmness kind of expands your you know your chest so your breathing is a bit better um you know if you take you know beecham's powders or you know powdered paracetamol things like that you can pretty much make up those very expensive over-the-counter drugs yourself um yeah. that's you know that that's all that's all part of being able to stay on plan with a cold because being cold and having a cold can really throw you because our natural instincts um i think that's why your suggestion about hot drinks is such a good one because it does it gives you that mug to wrap your hands around and it's comforting in so many more more ways than you know just staying hydrated um and we do feel a bit sorry for ourselves but also the natural instinct is feed a cold um, yeah. And I starve a fever, you know, all of the old sort of wives tales come back um, and people think that they can't stay on plan when they have a cold. Excuse me one second. I will leave you with now. There's someone at my door. Oh, OK. <laughs> come back as soon as you can. Um, this is real life after all. And um, one of the things that I would say is you absolutely can. But just be again, be prepared that when you've got a head cold, you are having an immune response and your body kind of goes into you know, it top trumps everything else, as our health should do. But it can mean that it doesn't mean that you're not burning fat. It doesn't mean you're not in an effective calorie deficit. But if you are prone to micromanaging the numbers and jumping on and off the scales, you might not see them move all the time. You have a head cold, even something as simple as, you know, a headache for a couple of days or, you know, a, a sneeziness or, you know, just a scratchy throat and a cough that never even turns into something. It's really it can have a really significant effect on the scales, but only for a short period of time while you're body is fighting you know that you know that infection or bacterial virus or whatever it is after that if you are looking at you know we've all been trained into that week by week weighing thing so it can be oh well that's been a bad week but the following week it looks like you lost loads and suddenly that was a really good week well it it kind of wasn't really it was the culmination of both weeks and staying dedicated through having that um that cold and then it all shows up so it suddenly looks like you lost more but you actually are still fat adapted you are still losing weight i know it's tempting to pick yourself up with a bit of sugar and just kind of go into survival mode but you will be really glad when you don't you'll be really proud of yourself when you can navigate through because in long-term maintenance in weight loss journeys we're going to get head colds it's january right now we're you know we're smack bang in the middle of cold and flu season um and that's not the same thing as just saying just be tougher just be stronger stick to plan through really bad covid that's not what we're saying but a general head cold i know i know the temptation is to curl up and eat heavy stodgy food and to pick yourself up with a bit of sugar but don't fall for it because it doesn't help you get better any quicker and it just knocks you further back and we don't want that to knock your mojo your morale so rest it's very tempting to want to replenish and pick ourselves up with with food but you have in your nutrition you've got good nutrition good hydration and restore rest where you can accept that when you have a head cold your energies are a bit you know energy levels are a bit slumped when you're on plan your energy levels are a bit compromised so take it where you can get it rest up hold fast look after yourself you will you will be so glad you did on the other side i'm talking to myself heidi as much <laughs> as to anybody who might be listening to me because you know when you've got a cold you do you feel like it is your right you feel a bit sorry for yourself um that you get to kind of you know eat whatever you like and i'll think about it on the other side don't do it because you know i was just saying we're in the middle of cold and flu season it's going to happen yeah so we better and it's going to happen in long-term maintenance as well so learning to navigate it now is a really important thing yes 
totally. And one of the other things that kind of can help with that and also on the hot drink front and also the drive that your kind of natural system wants to go, you're a bit cold, we should eat more. It kind of is a natural thing that's inbuilt it is, in isn't humans, it? Yeah. isn't it? And one of the things that can help, especially in the mid-afternoon, if you've never tried it yet, is our golden vegetable water flavouring. Oh, you're a woman obsessed. Honestly, because... if she says this once, she says it, uh, you're not wrong. It's just, yeah. it's It makes up, if you've never tried it, it makes up a bit like a vegetable stock. It's very savoury. It's quite salty. You don't need a lot. A very small amount goes a long way. I do often refer to it as like a free product. I think, in yeah. your, I, think, I think it's that thing. It makes you feel like you're having. Yeah, it's a bit like more. having a little miso soup in the middle afternoon, warms you up, gets you between those two products. If you need, if you've hit that mid afternoon slump, you're feeling a bit sorry for yourself. It's got to three o'clock in the afternoon and you think, I don't know if I can carry on with the day. I think you're right. I think it's really effective on (laughs) shutting down cravings as well, which is why that mid afternoon slump, it's really effective because you just said it is that miso thing. It's, it's like, it's like an umami thing. It's got that. So like if you ricochet, ricochet between the sweet and the savory, or sometimes the the bars are a bit too sweet for you. It's got that extra. What is it? Like that fifth taste bud, that fifth. Yeah. It's quite salty. It's yeah. It's very savory. So it doesn't like Mm, yeah the, and sometimes it, if you have a something sweet like a s- sweet drink or something it can kind of double down on the craving <laughs> where actually if you can have something savory it kind of shuts that down it yeah. fills you back up and it's a warming thing and it's a very comforting thing if if like Nell says you are feeling under the weather because it's like a little mini soup you know like when you were small or your grandmother would say have a chicken broth have a broth <laughs> when you yeah. don't feel well it's, got it's kind of that it's got that yeah, it's feel about it broth. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that Although, really that, that is something else on plan that that I have that people have. And yes, it's bone broth. It's that really restorative, warm, nurturing. I think that's what we're trying to say. Whether you're feeling cold because it's a side effect of ketosis, whether you've lost a significant amount of weight, in which case, absolutely brilliant. Well done. But you're also then feeling cold or whether you indeed are struggling with a cold. It is that thing of it's not just about wanting it badly enough and the lack of moral fiber to stick to plan and know your why and yeah 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 yeah. we we get that when it's never in any doubt when you are struggling with a cold or feeling very cold and you just don't wanna it doesn't matter how motivated or not motivated or i'm never in never in any doubt how badly you want it you wouldn't be here doing this and listening to us if you didn't want it it's the structural side of how how are you actually going to pull it off it's not a time to dig down on wanting it badly enough or moral courage or you know giving yourself a good talking to it's the what can i actually do to get from here to the end of today and to tomorrow and when you're not feeling it you are quite vulnerable and quite suggestible so don't you know don't give yourself any try not try to protect yourself and not have it in the house you know now is not the time to be doing the big shop and no don't be buying i saw someone on instagram this morning hot cross buns are out they're buying them stop it not easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just knock Spit. it off. But I, mean, I think that is, you know, it's self protection, but it's also yeah. nurturing yourself. Look after yourself, and remember that this is the, the the reason that you're doing this is is to to is is in your own self interest. This is not a punishment. It, you know, and sometimes when you're feeling a bit vulnerable and a bit under the weather, it can really feel like that. Also, all of the things that we've said could also be said for time of the month. You know, yeah. learning to navigate these natural circadian, these natural rhythms when we're, you know, up and down and our energy levels are fluctuating and all sorts of, you know, things like that and hormones as well. Learning to drive them on plan and doing it anyway relies on being organized and structural things and knowing all of these tips and tricks and knowing what's normal and when do I need a bit more protein and when do I need to tell myself to knock it off and not do not buy not have hot cross buns in the house all of these sorts of things um are are the kind of things that we will be telling you when you come and sign up on plan with us um don't take it so personally it's perfectly normal. There's all sorts of things that we can do. If yes. you do fall foul of, you know, the odd mishap because you are just so cold, it's a conversation we've been having a lot recently. It's what happens next. And again, reassuring you that, you know, you do feel very cold, very, very cold. One of the most popular things on plan, which is a really nice thing to do for yourself, is those weighted blankets. Do you, are you familiar with them? I am. 
I can't use them because they do the opposite for me. They make me panic. But lots of people find them really helpful. So you're in, you're in one of the camps. It's you really interesting. Them out. <laughs> you like you're the opposite, aren't you? You like that very light but very yeah. warm fleece that yes. doesn't feel like it's kind of holding you in. Yes. Yeah. I would rather also, have an Udi. massive jumpers with massive yeah. sleep. <laughs> um, and warm. and choosing the right products because yeah. if you've just been like totally going for it and all you're drinking is ice cold shakes switch it up try one of right. the soups have the hot porridge for breakfast you know switch up your products make the shake hot that the chocolate shakes make a very long yeah and equally chocolate. have three porridge a day if you yeah. want to you know you don't have to have you know you try the savories again you know try like you like Heidi says actually that's a really good point you know those those warming heavier foods yeah. you know although the chili, you, the savors, you know the new chili is it's lovely really land yeah and it's not cold it's not no. adding more cold to the situation. and that little bit of yeah. spice yeah. warms you up and it feels very comforting it's like a that new chili one. It's like a little bowl of comfort food. It's kind of what you want. And also, instead of your caramel bites in the evening, have an apple and cinnamon porridge. They, it smells divine. That one. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mine is you are mine's, my favorite. is always going to be the hot chocolate. I think at this time of year, finishing the day with a hot chocolate is so warming and so comforting, and it does make you feel like actually you're right. I didn't need four slices of toast just because I had a head cold. It wouldn't have helped anyway. But you know, try telling me that when I'm freezing cold with a head yeah. cold and feeling all together a bit. Yeah, we're not unsympathetic, but I, it's going to happen on plan. So you know, we've got to learn to learn to deal with it. What what is it about feeling cold that is kind of unique to being on plan? Oh god, my it's brain the, just went so it's blank. The, it's, the, it's the keto thing. It's that thing of it underestimating. Is. I knew the answer. I promise you, I knew the answer. Wait, but I she asked me that. a question, and then my brain went. No, I was just really me a conscious that because when the doorbell went, it's just me, and I just I can hear my own voice, especially with you go into ketosis head on the lower. Trying to give you the opportunity likely. to yes. talk. No, I'm with you. I, I do know the answer. Let me let me start again. Um, basically on the lower steps on a very low calorie diet, you are likely to go into ketosis. And one of the side effects, the pros, some people would say it's a con, well, the yeah. indicators that you are in ketosis is that you feel the cold much, much more. Your body is working very hard to burn that fat, to get that weight loss that you want. Um, and you, you're going to feel the cold a little bit more, but like we said earlier, that is normal it's a good sign that the plan yes, is working that's the irony of it is that it's a good <laughs> sign and you know when you're sitting under your weighted blanket or not because you don't like them when you're sitting under your weighted blanket um binge watching traitors um it doesn't look <laughs> like you're doing much you know because you're yes. not running around and you're not going crazy at the gym and it doesn't look like and i think we trip ourselves up with this can't be as effective and i it doesn't look like i'm working yeah. hard i've just got to eat a caramel popcorn bar are you sure i'm on a diet <laughs> yeah exactly we can fool you into a false sense of comfort and then you still get these losses and you're like i yeah. don't understand how this because it doesn't correlate with that you know kind of victorian work ethic of it's not working unless it's painful yes Exactly. Your, work, your body is working incredibly hard, so hard when you are when you are burning body fat yes and you can do that whilst you're sitting on the sofa not looking like you're doing very much um and that can really confuse people um so having very cold fingers because they're the bit that stick out from underneath your blanket with sleeves um is completely normal and it's nothing to worry about on plan um and you you know feeling a little bit sometimes a little bit sort of shivery mm. yes that's, that's also that's, completely yeah. normal the funny thing is that quite often when people have experienced that before they will send me a bit a bit of a voice message or a quick note on the phone saying oh my god it's really good it's a really good sign and i know what it means it's working it's working but for a brand new person to plan it could be a little bit they will send you a message going oh my gosh why oh. am i feeling like this surely i need to eat toast because they yes. don't appreciate it the toast won't help uh, one thing that i do have found that's helped and i haven't got them on today to show you but i have wrist warmers they're they're almost like the sleeves of a sweater and they go from sort of here down to about here and i wear them underneath my clothes a lot and you think that well how is that going to do anything gave more than your jumper other... we did give each other them um in various oh, colors. we both did it i was like i found these things i think you'll love and she was like to each other I found yes. these things i think you'll love 
we are the same person. Um, <laughs> but what I have found in these very cold days recently is that extra layer, and especially because you can pull them up to kind of come to here, it makes a real difference, especially if you are working in an office, you do a lot of typing, your fingers are out and it's a bit chilly. That really keeping your wrists warm actually makes a big difference to how warm you feel in general. Um, and another thing that I gifted one of my clients um, was uh, little USB hand warmers. You charge them oh. up, you press the button, they warm up. They're like little stones and you can hold them. You can put them in your pockets if you're out and about, if you're going for a dog walk or whatever, and they just warm up. Enough. And they're not they're like those awful ones with a click in them because do you remember no. they used to do yeah. them? And, and they don't last very and long. And then, and a... Yes. No, they're like little, little, I mean, they're like about half the size of a phone. They're plastic. And then you put them in the USB, charge them up, press a button and they heat up and you can just carry them around Ooh, with you. Oh, I'm thinking about They work very cool. well. They might be my yes, school things. run, we all might have of to those give things. Each other then. You know, it's like when you take each other out for a treat, or a, you know, it's like it's 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 totally allowed if you buy mine and I buy yours. We yeah, have just our we own haven't list. spent any money on that. How girl math factors. works? They're free. <laughs> <laughs> One last bit from me: when I lost seven stone, it was the first time in my life where I needed more than a cardigan in deepest yeah. darkest winter. I will be completely honest; it had never, it, I had never needed a wool coat before, a proper coat. And I had thought that they were just a, they were a fashion choice. They weren't a necessity until I lost my weight, and I realised that all those years, that's why people had been wearing them. And I had a very sweet and hilariously candid conversation with my husband, like, "Have you been this cold this whole time?" <laughs> and he was like. Yes, love. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We just didn't. Yeah. It's just you don't. How do I um uh and watching somebody try and say, try and put the words in, but with the hands and he's going, but you didn't need because of the you didn't um I yeah, but the coat you've got is lovely, it's really good. Let's stop talking. <laughs> yes, you have to replace the insulation that you had built in naturally with a coat. Yes. Um and thermal Absolutely. underwear, invest. So is you know invest in yourself it's quite, it's quite an interesting problem to have if you yeah. struggle with your weight for a long time then you just you just you may not have that. ever been that cold in winter no, you didn't know that that was a thing just like i didn't know that i was going to have to buy you know the great big furry line snow boots because my feet got cold and they were also in a smaller so size cold. because who knew that i lost a I lost nearly oh, two Oh, yes, your feet size. changed size. I say nearly two. I mean, my feet aren't quite the same size like a lot of us. But yeah, I lost, who knew? I didn't I yeah. didn't know that. I had a fabulous conversation with one of my slimmers this week who actually went out of her way to send me a video of how her rings have moved from this finger down. Yes. To, but the, no, up. It's on her little, little and then then it, and it fits the other fingers because who knew you could have fat fingers? Yeah. Who knew you need a, a winter coat? There's all sorts of fabulous things to explore, you know, it, it, during this weird and wonderful process. But yeah. it, it's not just you. And you can talk to us about it. And there are lots of things that you can do to mitigate it. I think the takeaway from this video is take it seriously. You know, yeah. know that it's a thing that happens on plan and prepare for it. You know, go to bed early, have hot showers, get a hot water bottle, invest in the hand warmers if you're typing at work. Um, and don't worry, it's it's not necessarily a sign of anything you know, untoward. It's yes, you haven't got to panic and make seven yeah. rounds of peanut butter toast. It's going to be fine. Um, and message us, message your consultant so that we can say, yes, it is normal. And have you thought about this? What are you doing about it? Let's come up with some ideas that are going to work for you because that's sometimes, what we're here for. Yeah, sometimes it's switching the products up and introducing yeah. the step two meals so that we can have some, you know, some hot conventional food. Sometimes it's moving the timings around, you know, it, it, you know, more nuanced advice kind of depends on who you are and what your schedule yeah. looks like like and all of that stuff but you know get one of those somebody for christmas gave me one of those um new thermal cups you know the, oh, the yes. when it's got little birds all over the outside and it's so lovely and it stays hot for such a long time um and it's not so much the drinking of what's inside it it's the wrapping your hands around it i just carry it around like a a nice little hot water bottle type prop yes yeah, my exactly. new favorite um so we hope those tips have helped you this week don't forget that both me and Nell take on new slimmers all of the time. We have space if you would like to jump on plan. Our always contact have details, space for you. Are, yeah, always. Our How contact details are no? always in the description. Yes, and I think that is because it's interesting because quite often from YouTube we get. I think we give the impression that we're just like because I get messages saying I don't know if you've got the event. If you want to always reach out got to the me, availability. I will find the availability. Yes. I will always make time. If you think that that's a conversation that I would be the right person or Heidi, we would be the right people to have that with. That's literally, that's what we're, we're message you. Us. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, exactly. That's why we do this YouTube channel so that you can find us. Find us. And yeah. We can get you on plan, be successful and get you to where you'd like to be. Our contact yeah. details are always in the description. Always. Um, just go find them, message either me or Nell, whoever you prefer to do plan with. We will come back to you with all the information you need and get you started. Answer any questions you have. We are both very transparent. We will answer anything you want to know in as much detail as we can. Um, yeah, we would love, love to support any of you on plan um, because that's what that's why we do this. We we love our jobs and we love seeing you be successful. So thank you for joining us this week. Um, we are here every Tuesday at five. If you have not pressed the subscribe button, what are you doing? You're going to miss out. <laughs> Go do that now and, and the little belly thing because then it sends you a notification um, so that we can see you back here next Tuesday for another video. Thank you for joining us this week and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. The, the little belly thing. Like that's what we're here thing. for, right? That's, yeah. that's, that's what we're on plan for. What do you want out of this? I want a little belly. Yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> Go do it. Bye.